Hi, this video is based on the KB article 1011040 in which we will see is how can we view the snapshots and how do we determine the size of those snapshots. Please note that this KB or this video is applicable only to the 7 mode systems. To start off you need to log into your NetApp storage controller using your user credentials. Once you are logged in you need to identify what are volumes do you have using the command tf. Here we can use any of these volumes for which we want to view the snapshots. In our case we can also use the root volume. So in order to view the snapshots for root volume you can use the command snap list and volume name. Here you can see we have got two nightly and six hourly snapshots available for this root volume, vol zero. The percentage used column will show you the percentage that the snapshot is occupying in the complete volume. In order to view the schedule of the snapshots that have been scheduled in the system, you can use the command snap schedule. that is snap s c h e d against the volume name that will show you the schedule for the snapshot so in our case we have zero weekly two nightly and six hourly scheduled to be run at 8 12 16 and 20 hours now it would be interesting to know that a maximum of 4 percentage is used by the snapshots of the whole volume. So we need to check how much space has been reserved for the snapshots inside the volume. We can use the command snap reserve vault zero and it shows we have reserved 20% of space for the snapshots. Since we do not have a very high utilization of the snapshots inside the volume, it would be more feasible to reduce the snapshot reserve for this volume depending on our requirement. To change the reservation we need to issue the same command snap reserve vault 0 and make it a 15. So if you run the same command again to check how much the reservation we have now is just 15 percent. Now the snap delta command provides us an easy way to determine the rate of data change between the snapshots on a volume. So for example, if an administrator is planning to implement a snap mirror and they need to know the approximate rate of change between snapshot intervals, we can use the command snap delta against a volume. So if we use snap delta wall zero. So in this example, the rate of change of data is about 3650 KB per day assuming that one snapshot is taken per day. Moving on we can use the snap reclaimable command that provides us a way to determine the amount of space that is freed by the deletion of a snapshot. We can use the command snap reclaimable and we need to give a volume name along with the snapshot names. We can also give a multiple snapshot names for example hourly 0 and hourly 1. The output will show you the approximately size in KBs that would be freed up if you delete these two snapshots. Once again you can use all of these commands to get more details for regarding the snapshots of any volume pertaining to your storage controller. I hope this video will be helpful for all of you. Thank you.